Hello, beloved, and welcome to your reading. Let's have a look to see the messages that the divine wants you to receive in this timeless reading. As usual, I always remind you that it is important to allow your intuition to be available as I'm doing your readings because your intuition will start elaborating on the messages that you're receiving so that this reading becomes powerful and personal. And if you need your own personal reading done, my website is in the description box below. At the bottom mm -hmm. of the card, what you're currently not seeing at the moment is the energies of the major arcana card of the magician. The magician is here to tell you, to remind you that you have something that is very valuable, that is very important, and that something is your will, is your power. You are the magician and through your willpower, you can make amazing, important changes that you are currently praying for. So the divine is saying that for some of you, you're currently not seeing that you have this power, you have this gift, you have these tools, all of us do. But there's a sense of you having forgotten how to use them because the divine is wanting to remind you that greatness was written for you. It was never the divine's intention for you to experience scarcity, for you to go without. So the divine is putting out a call for you to finally wake up and to see how you can step into your power and remember that you are the magician. You have the ability to manifest, to create what it is that you want. And there's a reminder that is here for you to remember to use your will, your intention, and to remember to infuse that with your emotions. And as you do that, you'll be able to see that you can use these powers that are here to create, to manifest whatever it is that you want. Because I can see that for some of you, you are wanting to manifest important unions. You're find, wanting to find your soulmate. You're wanting to find that perfect one. For some of you, you're wanting to find the people, your soul tribe, that vibe on the same level as you. The divine is saying that you are able to very much create this people, these relationships, you are able to do this through the vibration that you have around you because like attracts like. The experiences that you're having are a vibrational match to whatever it is that you are experiencing. And if you want something different, you have to change your vibration. You have to change the way that you feel. So the divine is saying that if you're currently praying for that special someone, you'll be able to find that special someone but remember that lift up your vibration to whoever it is that you're wanting to manifest, to whoever it is that you're wanting to have in your life. If you're wanting to find someone who is independent, who is joyful, who is content, who is blissful, who is filling the blanks, the divine is saying that you have to be a vibrational match to that. You go and be independent. You go and stand on your own two feet. You go and be powerful. And in doing that, you start magnetizing the same type of people who are like you. Now, this energy that is here is not for everyone because I know that for some of you, there is just that difficulty of feeling powerful. But the divine is saying that you are wanting this person who is powerful. How can you stay in your union where one of you is up here and another person is down here. Over time, this union, this friendship is going to be out of sync. You have to be evenly yoked to the people who you are wanting to attract, who you are wanting to vibrate with. This is how, for some of you, you have gone through upgrades. You have gone through the spiritual changes and you're starting to see that your family are starting not to vibe with you. Your friends are starting to start moving away from you. They think you're strange. The people that you've rolled with for a long time, they are not on the same page as you. And because of that, you are not communicating as much as you used to. You're not finding the things that you used to find funny. They are not funny to you anymore. In fact, you're finding your friends draining. And equally, they are finding you draining because your energy levels are completely different. So one of you is up here, the other one is down here. You have to either bring your vibration down to match those of the people who are around you. And in doing so, there is a dissonance that is within your heart and your soul. There's just that feeling of not belonging. There's just that feeling of the vibe being off. The divine is saying that this is the reason why 
So for you, you're being upgraded. You are going places and you cannot longer want to keep on dragging the same people on your journey, on your path, because they don't belong there. This is your journey. They might be wanting to go in a completely different direction and you're wanting to pull them to go in your direction. And this is when the friction is going to start happening. This is when the arguments is going to start happening. This is when you start triggering each other because you are a magnetic force. And the magnets are no longer facing the same way and they are starting to repel each other. And the divine is saying that the people that you are repelling, it is not because there is anything wrong with you or them. You are just on a di different vibrational signature. And so let them be and hopefully they will let you be to go on your path, to go on your journey and to find the new people who you are going to grow with. Who are going to inspire you to keep on doing better, to keep on climbing, to keep on doing things that you've never done before. And your other friends, your other family, whoever is exiting your life right now, it is okay. Why? Because you are suddenly, finally remembering that you are powerful. And you're understanding that if you are wanting to create this stability that you're praying for, you have to do things differently. You have to vibe on a different level. And the divine is saying that in vibing on a different level, you start finding the people who are vibing on the same level as you. And like, boom, like a magnet, you start vibing together. You start just having an energy of upliftment together. You're wanting to create this stability that is here. And you're finding other people who are on the same path. You go on the same path. And at some point, you will start to outgrow each other. So the divine is saying that the lesson that is here is you remembering that you are the magician. You hold the magic stick. Okay. And for you, you are manifesting the life that you want. Yes, you're vibing with people for a while. And then after a while, it is your turn to grow. It is your turn to go on your own path, on your own direction. And you go with that direction. So understand that some people are in your life for a season. Some people are in your life to just push you, to uplift you. Some people will never get to see or experience the magnificent being that you are becoming. And that's okay. Because for them, they were just meant to be witnesses. They were not meant to be on this journey that you're going on. So as you can see, you have the energies of the page of wands. The page of wands, you can see you are going places. You are climbing the ladder. You are really starting to look for where your pot of gold is. And you are not alone. You are not rather afraid to walk alone. Because you are not alone because your guides and your ancestors are here with you. They are inspiring you. So before you would have felt alone and you would have wanted people to tag along on this journey with you when they didn't belong there. So the divine is saying, do you understand why it is that you're losing friends? Why it is that some people are just not vibing with you on the same way that they used to vibe with you before? It is time for you to remove yourself because you are just causing yourself more harm, more headaches, more questioning. When you step into that time of questioning of what is wrong with me, why am I different? Why do I feel like an outcast? The divine is saying that because you're finally remembering that you are the magician. You're finally remembering that you have the power to make a new journey for yourself. You are finally claiming your power and stepping into the energy of understanding that you must go on this journey alone. And in going on this journey alone, you're bringing the security that you're praying for, the stability that you're praying for around your money, your resources, your health. And again, you have the protection of your guardian angels, of your ancestors, of your spirit animals. So you are not going to be walking on this journey alone as you're creating the stability that is really important for you. So what we're going to do next, we are going to be grabbing our Oracle cards. And as I'm grabbing your Oracle cards, I want to remind you that we have the new year celebration that is happening on the new moon on the 21st of March. And on this day, I am going to be doing my usual candle magic ceremonies and I am inviting you to take part. If you're wanting to take part with me, go in the comment section below, go to my website, purchase your candle, take your time to write your petition as if you are already the magician standing in your power. Send that petition to me 
And on the day of the 21st of March, I have a team of people who I am going to be collaborating with. We're going to be dancing. We're going to be drumming. We are going to be doing the spiritual work to infuse the ashe, the power, the essence of what it is that you're praying for so that this astrological new year that is starting with Aries on the 21st of March, that you can start this new year with planting your seed. And you're planting your seed of intention. The energies of Aries is all about passion, fire, drive. And so you're realizing that you're taking that fire, that passion, that drive to grow the things that are going to be important to you. So if you're not doing this new moon ceremony with me, please do not miss this powerful day. Okay, go and light your own candle. Take the time now to start learning about herbs, about the power that is that is within the herbs. Start creating your own anointing oil. Start educating yourself and then light that candle. Say your prayers. Write your petition. Don't miss this auspicious day that we are going to be working with, okay? Because, of course, that day is going to be magical. It is going to be ushering in this golden new chapter that is coming in. Your blessings, your abundance flowing to you. You are going to be praying for this. You're going to be praying for your soulmate. You're going to be praying for your soul tribe. You are going to be praying for the stability that you have really been craving for for a long time. So the divine is saying on this date, okay, it is important for you to start believing that you are the magician and to step into this role, to step into this powerful energy that is here. And in remembering that you are the magician, you start believing in magic. You remember that you are powerful and the divine is saying this is how you are going to be magnetizing your blessings to start flowing into your life to start coming towards you. So the divine is reminding you that you are indeed powerful and this is the time for you to start this new beginning of feeling powerful, of going forward with intention on the, tw on the 21st of March, working with us energies of fire, of passion, of drive, those Aries energies. And in doing so, you'll be able to see that the miracles that you're praying for will start flowing into your life, okay? Because the divine is saying, that as you're going forward, as you're feeling powerful, as you're creating these energies of support, of unions, divine unions, and as well of the stability and feeling healthy and feeling supported and feeling protected as you are ushering in these energies. The divine is saying as you are going on this path, remember to follow your intuition. Because when you follow your intuition, luck is going to start following you. Magic is going to start following you because you are remembering that you are indeed the magician and the magician with a K, not the magician with a C. Go and learn the difference between the magician with a C and the magician with a K. There's a very much a big difference between those two types of energies. So again, as you are learning, as you're growing, as you're understanding why it is important to work with the new moon, the full moon, the other phases of the moon and what powers are there, how you can harness those to bring in what it is that you're wanting to manifest. What you do on a new moon is very different. What you do on a full moon, what you do on a waning or a waxing moon is also very different. So I really want you to start learning to start understanding and to not rely on anyone else because this is going to be your superpower as you're going into the year 2023 and then when you look back in 2024 you'll be able to see just how much of a magician you have become and how much you're standing in your power okay so beloved this is the reading that i have for you again if you're wanting to be part of that full moon rather new moon ceremony go in the description box below and go and see all the different offerings that are on my website. Personal readings are there, cord cutting ceremonies, banishing ceremonies, return to sender ceremonies, bringing in luck. There is a lot that is there. Go and have a look around and see what is calling out to you. If not, don't forget to have that energy exchange with me by giving this video a thumbs up and commenting especially if you found value in this reading. It is a goodbye from me.